All right, I hope everyone can see this screen. All right. Uh, so uh, I'm Kim Song, currently the uh, director of the uh, Office of Graduate Studies in Singapore University of Technology and Design, uh, and also uh, as well as uh, associate professor in the Engineering Product and Development Pillar. Right. Uh, I'll explain to you uh, because SUTD is found in a very unique uh, manner. What that means. So uh, before I dive into type of uh, 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 graduate programs I'm going to introduce to you today uh, about what SUTD is offering, uh, maybe I, I should explain a bit what SUTD is uh, uh, for you to understand uh, 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 what we are at a glance. So SUTD actually uh, has been identified by MIT uh, uh, Engineering Educate uh, as, as one of the top emerging leaders uh, in engineering education. Right, this actually was done based on the survey we have with 50 global uh, leaders in engineering education uh, and it was evaluated based on the, the, the quality uh, and impact of our graduate students, the value we add to the students itself and our capacity to develop world-class education. All right, um, and, and actually if you look at SUTD educational structure, uh, we are not structured about traditional engineering stylos. Um, uh, and actually, we are actually uh, organized in terms of pillars, and that is actually meant to encourage multidisciplinary uh, education as well as research. All right. Uh, and, and actually, we have four pillars in SUTD. Uh, one is actually uh, architectural and sustainable design, which we call ASD, uh, the engineering product development pillar, which is where I am, uh, EPD. Uh, we also have an engineering system and design pillar, uh, uh, which deals with uh, system related uh, work. And we also have also a uh, information system and technology design pillar, all right. And of course, uh, there's also two other clusters, uh, which I'll talk about Haas uh, and and also uh, our science and maths and technology. Okay. All right. Uh, besides having a unique education uh, uh, in uh, in SUTD, I mean our faculty that is actually within SUTD are also. Uh, uh, rank highly all over the world, uh, especially in the telecommunication and network. Uh, 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 Tony Quack, which is actually currently our uh, head of pillar for information of uh, system and technology and design pillar, which is the ISTD pillar. Uh, uh, he's actually the most highly cited uh, uh, researcher in this field uh, under the Cabaret uh, Analytics. All right, but in terms of the school, when we look at it, uh, when we do some form of normalized impact factor, uh, actually we are not. We are actually uh, performing very well. I mean, even in ahead of uh, Carnegie Mellon and, and Princeton University. Okay, so um, research in Singapore uh, is uh, is rather exciting. I would say uh, we because we, we have an innovation and a, a research master plan. The, the key is actually to build a knowledge based economy for Singapore. Uh, the RIE twenty twenty. Uh, a scheme, right? Uh, actually, has invested over nineteen billion dollars over five years. Uh, that seeks to translate research into solutions, uh, build innovation, and uh, and 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 encourage a company technology adoption. Uh, and you can see that actually this represents a very significant increase uh, in twenty twenty, right? As compared to the previous twenty fifteen, uh, there's an eighteen percent increase in this. So actually, it's an indicative that uh, Singapore is more evolving into this. Uh, research landscape uh, and it's highly important that uh, uh, you take up a graduate studies so that actually you can be uh, one of these contributors to the Singapore economy growth in the next uh, uh, couple decades. So uh, if you talk about research in SUTD, uh, well, I mean, uh, I would also like to highlight that we also say the uniqueness is also in SUTD itself. Uh, Whereas uh, talks about speed, uh, where because we are a small university, and the culture that since we uh, uh, developed uh, starting uh, together when MIT helped us at the earlier years, uh, it actually it was meant to uh, create this kind of multidisciplinary structure uh, and, and culture, right? So that actually uh, different faculties and different research team can come together very quickly, uh, so that uh, we we can solve very complex uh, and challenging research challenge or questions. All right, uh, this is not trivial uh, because um, uh, we find that actually in this real world context, uh, you need to be able to have a multidisciplinary in order to tackle really real life uh, challenge uh, in this era. Uh, you itself is actually talking about unity. 
uh, and, and SUTD, uh, when we structure into these four different pillars, is an indicative that uh, it's meant to support interdisciplinary uh, ed, uh, research right, and education. Uh, even the faculty members, uh, like my neighbors itself, uh, we, we are not typically from the same department. E even for us, within the faculty members, uh, the seating arrangement, typically, if you look at other universities, uh, all the, the, the same department faculty member kind of sit together within the same space. Uh, but for us, uh, uh, we are not structured this way. Actually, we are actually um, uh, having different pillars uh, co-located together. Uh, that is actually to encourage this kind of uh, multidisciplinary culture, right? Um, the T actually is a test bed. Actually, we, we provide a lot of coll collaborative test bed uh, for our research partners uh, and, and actually for them to test uh, ideas, uh, solutions, uh, so that actually uh, the adoption is highly translatable to new products, processes, and services system as well as services uh, eventually. Of course, the last thing, D, uh, which we are proud of, uh, D can be for design, all right, uh, is also within our DNA, right? Uh, so SUTD DNA of Big D uh, allow us to tackle issues at the system level uh, so that actually uh, we can create a broad impact across education, social, and economic sectors. Uh, to support all the research, uh, SUTD actually, if you look at where we started, we started with uh, the International Design Center in July 2010. Uh, and throughout the years, uh, we, we have been evolving, uh, getting a lot of partners, starting out research lab in SUTD, focusing a lot on the application and transnational needs of Singapore. Uh, for instance, MINDEF, uh, in May 2015, we have the Masi Laboratory. Uh, we even have the Lee Kuan Yew uh, Center for Innovation Cities. Uh, I trust we deal with cybersecurity, uh, ST engineering, uh, LTA, and, and recently aviation uh, studies, right? Uh, so, so among we, all these centers, actually, uh, SUTD has secured over more than uh, 400 million, right? 439 million uh, since 2010. Uh, we, have, uh, we have established more than 1,000 industry partners. Uh, among these, uh, research and there's about 56 startups and this is growing and we have a lot of uh, patent uh, developed uh, in the young, young universities uh, and, and actually we have trained uh, uh, about up to 456 PhD students now, uh, 358 researchers and we have 103 tenure track faculty actually supporting all these uh, research activity in all these centers. Okay, um, so I will to touch about what uh, 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 because we are small, SUTD has to be a bit strategic in, type, in, the, in terms of their research uh, uh, development and, 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 and direction. So in terms of SUTD, the, the growth areas right now, actually we are focusing on uh, cities is one, uh, aviation uh, and healthcare. Uh, and, and, and we also have artificial intelligence and data science cutting across uh, all these uh, uh, domain, right, growth areas. Uh, so if you look at cities, we, we focus more on the sustainable design. Uh, if you look at aviation, uh, it could be the airline, airport operation, as well as the engineering aspect uh, uh, that, that deals with uh, aircraft uh, maintenance and operations. Uh, healthcare, we also look at medical imaging and devices itself. Um, and, and actually all these are supported uh, uh, with artif artif artificial intelligence and data science uh, to create solutions for a variety of this kind of uh, uh, situation and, and problem statements. Okay, so uh, I'll spend the rest of the time uh, to talk about the type of graduate programs we have over in SUTD. Uh, so if, if we really give a, a brief overview, SUTD graduate program emphasize uh, what we call a multidisciplinary focus. Uh, oops, sorry. Go back again. Multidisciplinary focus uh, that deals with design, innovation, and entrepreneurship. Right. So, so actually, we actually do have a graduate student that actually uh, uh, eventually spin out a uh, uh, start out a company based on their uh, research uh, that they have done over here. All right. And all these are actually seamlessly integrated into our curriculum. Uh, so we have master's program. Uh, there's five of them, which I'll touch in detail what they means later on. Uh, doctorate programs, uh, uh, we have the PhD program and a variety of uh, uh, variants from this. Uh, and, of, and also we are very linked with industry where we also have companies sponsoring both our master's and doctorate programs. Uh, uh, in particular, EDV has played a very big role in our industrial uh, 
a postgraduate program, right? Uh, which I'll explain more in detail later on. So I'll start with our master's program. Uh, uh, we have masters of engineering uh, in research, by research. We have a masters of innovation by design. We have masters of science in security by design. Uh, we have masters of science in urban science policy and planning as well as we have uh, the SUTV uh, uh, CGU, which is a, 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 a Changguang University over in ta ta Taiwan, a dual master's program. So actually you earn two, two master's program in a single uh, a program that you enroll. Uh, and that focus in nano electronic engineering and design. The Masters of Innovation by Design is actually a very novel uh, horizontal program uh, that, that actually we seek to attract students that actually are interested in products, systems, and services. Uh, it's a very design-centric uh, mindset program uh, that actually cuts a lot across every discipline, domain, and sector. Uh, and, and actually it's directed at technology-intense product service system uh, so that the whole entire uh, value chain right, is captured uh, early on in the stage of development uh, that actually uh, enable us to have the true essence of design thinking uh, in solving any particular solutions. Okay, uh, our Masters of uh, Science in urban, uh, urban Science Policy and Planning uh, actually seeks to train the next generation of urban researchers uh, and analysts and as well as practitioners. Uh, so actually it seeks to uh, train them well in theory uh, skill in data analytics uh, and, and they are quite adaptable at policy and planning. Uh, and uh, of course, there's also independent research activity uh, where they can do really hands-on planning uh, as part of the program with industries, partners that we have. Okay. The SUTD uh, CGU Dual Master's Program in Nanoelectronics Engineering and Design actually is a very unique multidisciplinary learning uh, experience for our students. Uh, it, it, it actually encompasses the full value chain of semiconductor in, uh, industry, uh, where typically the student spends about uh, nine months in the first nine months in uh, CGU in, over in Taiwan, and the subsequent uh, nine months or even beyond to do research in uh, SUTD uh, that can cover a research topic as well as production, packaging, testing, reliability, uh, failure analysis, chip assembly, and as well as packaging. All right, uh, right. Not to mention about uh, its uh, design, production, and testing. The Master of, Eng uh, of Engineering by Research uh, is actually an independent research oriented uh, program. Uh, a lot depends on the faculty that actually are interested in. Uh, and, and it can be uh, very broad because most of the faculty will have actually an uh, industry statement or problem that they are trying to solve uh, that can deal with design science, electronics, uh, uh, engineering and uh, energy and environment, supply chain, cybersecurity, machine learning, or even robotics. All right. And all this actually we, uh, in SUTD, what we're trying to strive to do here is to have a better world by design. The Master of Science in Security by Design, MSS, uh, MSSD in short, uh, focus on cybersecurity foundation and application uh, in cyber physical systems, right? Uh, and the students were able to design, analyze, and implement, uh, uh, and, and also manage uh, how to secure a particular system of interest. Okay, uh, so maybe I'll touch about a detail, uh, uh, which may be of your interest, uh, which uh, if you're interested in the uh, Masters in Urban Science Policy and Planning, uh, uh, the typical requirement is that you have to be a bachelor degree or above. Uh, uh, you need to write a statement of purpose and there's interview process. Uh, it's a full 12 month program that typically starts from September to August. Uh, the dual Masters in Nanoelectronic Engineering and Design, uh, uh, similarly, you need a bachelor degree uh, in actually in mathematics, physics, engineering, computer science, or related fields. Uh, the program can uh, minimally needs about 18 months. Uh, as I mentioned, nine months you spend in Taiwan, nine months here minimally. Uh, but if the research get very interesting, you can go up to 36. The master's in engineering uh, by research, uh, uh, you need a bachelor degree. Uh, it's a full-time program. There's also part-time program. So full-time is one to three years. Uh, part-time is two to three years. So how fast you graduate is really dependent on the, uh, the research topic you're working on and, and the progress that you have, all right? Uh, the last master program that I highlight here is the Masters in Security by Design. Uh, you need at least a second upper 
uh, majoring in engineering or computer science, and you need to be proficient in a certain uh, programming language such as Java, C, uh, and Python. Right? A full time program is a year, uh, part time is two to three years. Uh, and also, we have this kind of modular master's kind of thinking uh, that can, you can take all these modules over a period of five years to achieve this uh, uh, degree. Oh, yeah. So the last one is actually the, the more recent launch, which is our Master's in Innovation by Design. Uh, uh, similarly, you need a second upper majoring in engineering, uh, industry design, material science, and other related areas. Uh, you, you get to actually visit China as part of this curriculum. All right, uh, and, and full time is about one to two years, and part time is two to three years. So, the PhD program uh, essentially, uh, I, I can classify them that uh, is dependent on uh, uh, the type of situation you have. Uh, if you're doing a full time SUTD uh, PhD program, is for you. Uh, if you are working and in, intend to do some part time, then you can look at this engineering doctorate program that we have. Uh, and and our PhD full-time PhD program has been extended uh, jointly collaborated uh, a joint uh, degree program with NUS, right? Uh, which I'll touch in detail. Uh, the last part is uh, our uh, EDB uh, IPP program. Uh, actually, uh, this is actually a very unique program where you can be an employee of a certain uh, uh, company, and and actually that that part uh, and your part-time PhD student over at SUTD. So while working, you are also actually earning a PhD program uh, or a PhD degree uh, uh, in parallel. Okay, so, so as I mentioned, uh, SUTD is, is not structured in, uh, based on engineering stylos. Uh, we have uh, four pillars and two clusters. Uh, uh, ASD uh, is our architecture and sustainable design. EPD is our engineering product development. ESD is entry system and design, and ISCT is our information system, technology, and design. Uh, our two classes are the humanities, arts, and social sciences, which call us, uh, and science, mathematics, and technology, uh, right, uh, uh, as our next cluster. And, and to do a PhD program, uh, there's a choice that you can be in, in either of these pillars and clusters, depending on the research topic that you're interested in. And of course, each of these clusters will have their own requirements. Uh, in terms of uh, fulfilling the degree uh, requirements. Okay, so, so a PhD, if you're interested in any of these uh, PhD related uh, uh, degree, uh, you need at least a bachelor degree. Uh, 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 and, and then uh, to graduate, actually, uh, it, depending on which pillar you are or, or the clusters you're in, uh, there's a certain amount of coursework you need to do. Uh, there's also oral and written examination that you need to pass. And at the end of it, you need to actually submit a thesis for a technical evaluation committee approval. All right? The, the period can be three to five years. Uh, maximum period is five years. Uh, and and, and uh, uh, you can pace yourself to, to fulfill this degree. Okay, um, so to do a PhD program, uh, actually the attractive part is actually uh, you are fully funded, all right? Uh, if you come into SUTD. Uh, uh, that's, there will be scholarship for you to apply uh, and you'll be considered. Uh, so if you are actually accepted as a student in SUTD, uh, each of these, uh, depending on which type of scholarship you are uh, getting, uh, there are appropriate stipend and as well as some form of additional support for you to attend conferences and overseas exchange. All right. So if you look at it, uh, I mean, the, one of the premium one that we have is the SUTD uh, President Graduate Fellowship, uh, Singaporean, you get about 3,500 with CPF. Uh, PR is 3,002, and for international students, it's about 3,000. And this comes with uh, your annual conference allowance. So as a, uh, as a graduate student, uh, attending conference is very important to, to, to get new ideas and actually share your ideas and what you have done so far. Uh, and also there's opportunity that you can, you can spend a period of time overseas uh, with uh, the research collaborator that the, uh, the faculty have. Uh, to do research and, and actually expand your horizon. And of course, we also provide industry, industry opportunity. So actually, uh, uh, you also get the chance to, to actually be attached to a company and work on interesting research topic. All right. Uh, we also have a, a computer information. So the next one is actually our typical PhD fellowship. Uh, and there's also a, a, a computer information science, CIS. Uh, this is actually only deals with our ISD pillar if you're interested, right? Uh, it's quite attractive, 5,000 plus CPF for a Singaporean. Um, 
besides our own internal scholarship, uh, SUTD has been always uh, getting partners uh, and actually we have been getting industry to fund us. Uh, depending on the, the type of scholarship you have, I, I will highly encourage you to look at the up, most updated list over at our SUTD website on where, what they are. Uh, but just to give you a snapshot that actually uh, we have designed Singapore Council's sponsoring uh, a graduate program for, for Singapore and PR. Uh, we also have a, 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 a postgraduate scholarship in humanities. Uh, the SINGA program focused more on international students. The A-STAR uh, graduate scholarship actually uh, uh, is, is actually applicable to all. Uh, and we also have a smart uh, graduate scholarship. So, so there's actually a lot of scholarship available and which actually uh, you can seek to apply and be considered uh, as you apply for our SUTD uh, graduate program. Uh, so, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, economic ETB, uh, Industrial Postgraduate, Pro uh, Postgraduate Program, is actually an initiative uh, 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 by Singapore ETB Board, right? Uh, their intent is actually to develop graduate research talent uh, and, and with a strong focus on uh, collaborating with uh, locally based companies and uh, companies, right? Between companies and universities. Uh, it's, it's open to fresh graduates. Uh, and and uh, the company uh, can apply and can be a partner uh, with SUTD, right? Uh, so, uh, and this list with us, uh, of, of companies with us, actually are always constantly growing. Of course, there are certain criteria, right? Uh, but as I mentioned, the attractiveness of this uh, uh, program is that uh, the, the, the trainee will be a full-time salary employee at a partnering company uh, while, while pursuing full-time graduate studies at SUTD. Okay, so for the partners, uh, uh, partnering companies, uh, uh, that, there's also criteria this is usually set, this is actually set by uh, uh, EDB itself. Uh, it must be based in Singapore. Uh, the company itself must demonstrate uh, uh, corporate R&D presence in Singapore uh, with, with uh, uh, manpower showing there's a doctorate level researcher and there's good track record of research activities happening within the company itself, all right? And they are actually committed to support uh, both MN and doctorate uh, qualification uh, candidates uh, or employees uh, that, uh, uh, that seeks to apply for all these kind of uh, program. Uh, and and uh, it's tailored only to Singapore citizens and PRs only. Uh, and and uh, it's eligible to pursue a bunch of programs here, as I mentioned. Okay. Uh, so for our graduate student life, uh, uh, I mean, in, in, in SUTD, it's not about uh, going to lab and go home and go to lab and go home, uh, this kind of thinking. Uh, we, we have a variety of uh, uh, programs. Uh, actually, we, we do have a graduate uh, uh, GSA, which is a graduate, study, uh, a graduate student association. Uh, actually, that they, they are constantly organizing this kind of bonding uh, uh, activities for graduate students to bond together because we are small. So uh, having all this uh, bonding actually helps a lot when you graduate uh, 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 and, and actually build all this connection that you can tap on later on in life. All right. Uh, I mean, frequently we have barbecue, everybody likes food. So uh, there's always barbecue event that people can attend and, and socialize. All right. Uh, there's also opportunity to, to actually enhance some of your soft skill like a leadership. Uh, we also have uh, sent students to go for leadership symposium uh, where they actually leverage that to actually uh, enhance their leadership skills. All right. Uh, of course, these are just only a few snapshot of the kind of uh, uh, the life that the student have uh, uh, over at SUTD. Uh, uh, but uh, I mean, what we're trying to do here is actually trying to make your life in SUTD a bit more interesting just beyond research, all right? Okay, uh, with that, okay, I, I would like to thank you. And if you have any questions, we are here to uh, uh, entertain uh, and, 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 and reply.